he's just not there at the moment physically or mentally and you know I think you know Craig Bellamy's got Welcome to our countdown of the top five most injury prone players currently in the NRL. These players have had their fair share of setbacks on and off the field, but they continue to battle through adversity and push themselves to remain competitive at the highest level. Let's get started with number 5. Jack Bird from the St. George Illawarra Dragons In his early years in the NRL, Bird was tipped to be the next big thing. But after two ACL injuries, a shoulder injury and a sternum injury during his time at the Broncos, Bird had appeared to have lost that X factor and he seemed content with simply staying on the field. I'm thinking to myself, how do you see his long-term future after this, I think, second ACL tear in two years? He's still only about 20, 24, 25, Jack, maybe? maybe so that's 25, 25 in about, yeah. Look at this. about a week. Yeah, that's that's a week. Just a keep on back. coming. It's these injuries would greatly derail the trajectory of Bird's career, forcing him to be just another OK athlete in the sport. Coming in at number four is Gerard Croker from the Canberra Raiders. With age catching up to him and almost having to medically retire last year, Gerard Croker has had quite the history with injuries, especially in the last few years. He had confidence that he's, it's not as bad as first thought. He said post-game that the pain kind of went away when the doc had a little bit of work on it. Yeah, we're not sure, not sure how, uh, how bad it is, whether it was uh, dislocated or popped out or, or whatnot. But so, you know, over the next 24 hours, we'll find out where it's at. Though Croker recently underwent revolutionary stem cell surgery on his knee to prolong his career, the chances of having number three on our list is Ryan Peppenhausen from the Melbourne Storm. Easily one of the most gifted fullbacks of this era, Ryan has been plagued by injuries over the past few years, having missed a two-month chunk of the 2021 campaign due to lingering concussion symptoms before enduring a hamstring tear and then a fractured kneecap late last season. It's knee on knee. He must have hard knees, Jack White. We'll have a look at him. Oh, oh that would have hurt. I think Pappenhausen's really off. I really do. You know, I'm not, and I know he's had a bad knock. Do you think he's time. lightened up? Do you think he's lost some? He looks, he looks, he looks leaner. Looks, he yeah. looks, he yeah. looks, well, he looks withdrawn, you know, and sometimes they can look a little bit skinny when they're like that, but he's not effervescent like he was. He the Storm really Speedster really. has followed in Lateral Mitchell's footsteps and travelled over to the US where he is currently working with renowned high-performance trainer and conditioner Bill Knowles, who is credited with helping Tiger Woods recover from a serious knee injury. Number two on our countdown is Kalen Ponga from the Newcastle Knights. Many fans may argue Kalen is the most injury-prone player in the league, which isn't far from the truth given his history with injury issues in most years of his career. Kalen's 2022 was riddled with HIAs, ultimately forcing him to hang up the boots towards the end of the season. KO'd for a third time in just six weeks, Kalen Ponga failing his fifth HIA this season. The number one priority will be for Kalen's well-being. He's the best player by a mile. Of them. You've got to keep him fit and ready to go. You've got to think long term. You just yeah. sign another five-year deal. I think uh, maybe there the rest of the year. Look, if I'm Newcastle, I'm I'm saying, mate, that's curtains for this year. As of the date of this video, Ponga has just recently suffered a calf-related injury during pre-season training. Thankfully, the club claims his injury is not serious and the 24-year-old is expected to be fit and ready for the Maori All-Stars clash in four weeks. And finally, the most injury-prone player in the NRL is none other than Manly Sea Eagles' Tom Trebojevic. Arguably the most destructive player of this generation when he's fit, Tom has been plagued by persistent hamstring and shoulder injuries for years restricting him to just 44 appearances across his past four seasons. Well, it's obviously, um, it is a bit rattling. It's not something that you um, want to be dealing with and uh, considering um, the history over, over the um, past couple of years, it's... Um... After recently suffering two hamstring injuries in close succession, the former Dally M medal winner will be the third fullback from the NRL to head over to the States to visit renowned knee specialist Bill Knowles. Flying to Philly to become an American Eagle for a fortnight, a trip Tom Trebojevic hopes can change his career. You hope to get a lot out of it so you can you know, come back to confident in, in, in yourself and your body that you're moving best, you're doing everything you can to, to stay in the park and, and play good footy. He is likely to cross paths with Ryan Peppenhausen who is currently still overseas working with Knowles. Let me know whether you agree or disagree with this list in the comments. Thanks for watching and please join us next time for more top 5 countdowns in the world of rugby league.